everyone welcome to part 13 of laravel land series in which we are creating the multi vendor e-commerce website so we will continue working on the user registration process one more time and maybe this is the last time that we are working on this user registration process and in this video uh, we are going to work on the loader we are going to show loader on the register form submission okay so you can see the form here uh, this register form and it takes too much time when we click on register as it's going to send the email as well to the user So the user thinks that the form does not register at all. So what we are going to do uh, We are going to freeze this page uh, With the loader image. Okay, we are going to freeze this image uh, this page with the loader image so that the user will come to know that uh, it is taking time means loader will uh, keep on moving like this uh, like in round okay uh, we will search one image and we'll put that image as well in the center and this complete page will hide okay means fade fade like a uh, user will come to know that the page is fade uh, and he can't able to do uh, anything on the page and once uh, it has been done then this loader will be removed and that the confirmation message will come that your form has been submitted okay so we can integrate this loader script in any of the website okay so uh, let's start working on this one uh, so uh, i have already uh, arranged uh, made the loader script for you so you need to open the sidemakers.in website okay and after opening this website you can click on download and here at the last you can see the script is available free of cost you can download the script we are not going to build this script from the scratch uh, download page loader script use with any form submission okay so we are going to download the script and the username is tech developers and the password is laravel with amit okay so we are using the same password that we have used for downloading the template earlier okay so once you have done with this one you can click on download once again uh, you can close all these kind of pop-ups okay okay so you can click on download once again and this time you can able to download the script okay you require to simply download the script click on this one if you are in chrome you can right click and save link as you can also do it like this okay so it will take a few seconds to download okay the script has been downloaded okay now we are going to open the script here in our sublime we can able to we can open the script okay so uh, these are the scripts style div script uh, everything we require uh, so uh, we are going to integrate uh, step by step so first thing is uh, we will create one uh, custom.css file okay so in our uh, product folder it's locator i'm going to open my product folder under personal uh, ecom9 this is my product folder public where is the public here here it is public and under front okay uh, so under CSS, I'm going to create new CSS file here new terminal folder uh, So we are going to create the file touch uh, Here I'm going to create the file like custom.css For Windows, you know how to create the file. Okay, you can simply go inside the folder and create the new file Okay, uh, right click uh, you can create the note uh, that uh, txt file and rename that file to uh, this one custom.css Okay, custom.css this is the file that we have created okay so here uh, we are going to put this script here and this file we are going to include in our layout.bay.php file that is the common file for our layout under front front layout okay so this one we are going to include this one here okay so this one we are going to include here sorry uh, here I can just simply copy and paste it one here and here I'm going to write the custom all custom CSS we can put it here okay custom fine okay so after this one uh, then uh, this uh, div this div we will add after body so here we can add this div simply after this one after body we can add 
okay so this one and uh, also see, see uh, we required one loader uh, image so loader image we can get from net loader uh, image in png because we want some moving image okay so we will try to uh, check for some png image i'm going to see uh, uh, it seems to be fine i think okay let's download this one uh, download.png uh, okay so i think it will work fine otherwise we can also select any other so it is fine okay so once we have downloaded this png loader.png here you can see loader.png and this one uh, we can put inside our folder here uh, in public uh, front images okay so here uh, we will create one folder here uh, here we will add loaders okay so here we are going to add loader.png okay so this one uh, we will add the path here loader.png path and we're going to add a set it's under uh, images i will going to check the path here is under front images uh, front images loaders okay front images loaders loader.png like this okay fine and now see we have this class loader class and we have the uh, css as well ready okay and now we need to call this one okay so we are going to call in custom.js uh, in front uh, where uh, we have the register formalization so we are going to call this one call the loader okay we are going to show this loader straight away when the register form submit okay and we are going to hide this whenever error comes uh, or it or our form submission is successful okay here we can able to hide this one okay so now we can try uh, here we can try at the form of register form submission so you can see it still it is still coming in the back end uh, so for that we will check once so, uh, so okay so actually uh, see this one this is already the css file so this is not required this style is not required at all okay so we need to remove this style like this okay so now uh, uh, here in JS also we will check once so now uh, one thing also we can do we can show the loader for all here and we will try yeah now see it appears uh, so it is fine now now it must work now we are going to try okay so now we are going to try once uh, okay so now i'm going to register and we'll see loader must come fine now okay here nine, seven, any number you can give email any unique email and you to see what password one two three four five six and i will read register and now you can see this time loader is coming fine okay you can see the loader is coming here okay and uh, see please confirm your email to activate your own account okay so now it uh, works fine okay so and now the loader is working fine but we want uh, some loader that actually rotates we want some png loader okay it's not exactly png uh, we will see uh, if we can get the png save images uh, uh, we 
we can try this one okay so uh, though the loader is working fine now you can see okay so it is coming uh, and one more thing we need to do here uh, here we will not uh, do that alert we will do the separate alert uh, we will uh, make one more change in login register login register in front here we are going to make one change here uh here like login error uh, we are going to give here register success after this one we will give here uh, register success okay to display the success message here and this one uh, we will give in the same way like we have uh, given here i'm just going to copy this one and instead of alerting the response uh, we are going to display here so what we can do uh, here we can display this loader after hide and then uh, this one is not required okay and here uh, we can give that one register uh, success okay and this message we are going to show in green also okay so now we can try once and now this time we are going to give once again Seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Email and the date of your credit card. Password. Now click on register. See this time the loader is coming, uh, but uh, still it is uh, not uh, uh, the fine one. Okay, but it is working fine. You can see uh, the message appears here as well, uh, but it goes away after the display. Uh, so we can set the timeout as well uh, in the same way okay uh, because i think it appears then gone away okay we are going to check uh, why it not stays here okay uh, we can uh, give this set timeout as well for this one uh, let's see once again uh, but here still the loader is not that much correct okay you need to download some good loader here uh, from the net you can search for the better loader and uh, the previous one was better because this one is very poor mm, this one is not good at all loader we can also get okay, loader image diff also i think See this one uh, save image as it looking very nice loader icon loader see this one seems looks promising okay so we can give this one here and this time we are going to use this one loader dot gif let's see hope uh, it will be better than the last one okay so here we are going to put uh, where it is layout loader dot gif okay so let's try now oh okay so uh, first of all we can also uh, for testing purpose uh, we can simply show the loader like this okay for debugging uh, that how it will look like and let's try see it looks fine okay it looks uh, uh, better than the last one okay you can see okay so uh, you can uh, even uh, choose any other this one also we can download once again okay This one is the earlier one, I think. PNG also. Uh, replace this one is the earlier one. Okay, 
we will also try this one once again Is the script uh, here? It is loader.png. Once again, we will try with the and this is not moving. You can see this is still so that's why uh, this one is better. Loader.gif at least it is uh, rotating. Okay, only thing is here some scare box is coming and. otherwise it is fine okay this image you can choose of your own okay we can try once that this loader is working fine or not okay so with the success message so i'm going to restart the new account here now we are going to see see it is loading fine it is coming fine showing fine okay user will wait because it is loading it means that see uh, actually it is redirecting so that's why so we need to remove that thing uh, this is not required that redirect see now this is is not required at all okay so we will remove this one this is enough okay so now one more time we are going to and i hope that this is the last time that we are going to try and it will work fine and let's again any email and sorry uh, i'm in a hurry that's why nine eight seven six three four five six email. okay so yeah okay now we're going to try okay uh, click on register see now it is working fine and there must be no refresh of page and see please confirm your email to activate your account so now everything is working fine loader is also working and email is going at the back end and uh, see the message success message is also coming after uh, uh when the loader completes okay when the email has been sent loader has been complete everything is done in the back end and after that the message come to the user that please confirm your email account and this message you can show anywhere you want okay you just simply require to move this div okay you simply require to move this uh, register success div anywhere uh, where you want to display the message so it's your personal choice you can display here as well you can display at the top as well you can display here as well but the page will not refresh and the main thing is the loader must work fine so that the user will come to know that uh, that the uh, script is lo loading at the backend and he can't do anything you have seen that he can't do anything when, when the script is loading see once again now it is it is easier see i can simply click on register okay so see see he can't do anything see he can't do anything user can't do anything because loading is in process so that the user will wait okay after that this message will come at uh, as well okay so i hope that you can try this one and one more thing you can do uh, you can even refresh the page uh, or you can make uh, these one empty these all these fields empty with id in jquery itself you can make all these fields empty uh, uh, after displaying this message okay so that the user will not try to refill and will not try to re uh, register again okay so i hope that this is clear to you and you can able to integrate this loader at your end as well and if you will face any issue you can surely contact me so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye